So I brought some flyers, so you're welcome to take one on your way out if you'd like. I don't know if every I don't know if I have enough for everybody. I wasn't sure how many people would be here. Um, but my name is Jeannie Desaro, and my father Alfonso was born and raised here in the North End. And I actually grew up in Michigan, but about uh, 10 years ago, my parents moved back here, and then um, I moved here about six years ago. So I've been I spent three years in the North End. Now I live in Dorchester, so I don't live in the North End, but. Um, I spend a lot of time in the North End with my family. And um, they recently moved into the Casa Maria, which is a um, like adult uh, senior living building. And what I've found is there's a lot of stories in that building, which got me thinking that there's a lot of stories in this community and in this neighborhood. So um, what I'm hoping to do over the next year, year and a half, is to collect the stories um, digitally, because there are several books and articles and papers and things like that that already exist about the North End, so I don't want to recreate something that's already been done really well. Um, but I do want to create uh, like videos, podcasts, um, like short segments like you would find on the radio um, about um, Italian-American individuals that have either grown up in this community or their families migrated over, um, things of that sort. So what I was hoping all of you could help me in the room with is if you yourself would be interested in doing a story, um, you can feel free to give me a call or send me an email. My contact information is on the flyer. Um, to let people know about the project, um, or if you know other people that you think would be interested in um, being interviewed, um, and then basically just help me sp spread the word. I, got, I come from a family of 15 kids. I can give you some stories. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is
I do have a full-time job, so. Would you be willing to come to the community and show one of them, or we'll sell popcorn or something, and raise you some money? I would like that. That would that would be great. Yeah, I think, and that's that's part of what I found is that um, a lot of the, like I said, a lot of the people that I'm talking with don't have internet access or mm -hmm. aren't on a com computer all the time, and that's where the majority of that might be a nice way of doing it. That that is, yes. That's I'll a help great you set up an event. If you that's a great. Thank you. Every every year, the um, Hard Rock Cafe sponsors a. Um, Type of movies, short movies that uh, they have like as well. It's come out in the fall. I might want to look into that. So, uh, Meaning that they would let me show it there as well? Oh, that's great. Tim Salini, uh, Trotter Street. Uh, have you been surprised by any of the changes you've learned since 1950 that you didn't expect to hear about? So far, I, I mean, there were things that I think I, I had a sense of, but I didn't really know how they happened. So when I was talking with the guys at the DNR meat market, they talk about how in the 70s a lot of the, the buildings changed. So they started creating smaller units. So then we used to be able to have a family because there was three or four bedrooms. Suddenly it was one bedroom, two bedrooms. So you can't. And now there, there seems to be a transition back where they're starting to have like larger units. So that kind of surprised me. Would those be conversions or new, new numbers? I'm, I'm not sure. So they didn't know, you know, they were just speaking generally. Um, but. I actually have a question. Um, if, this, if this goes well, would you consider maybe a second phase in North End Stories and try to go a little back, uh, back a little further prior to the, the Italian uh, immigration and, and get some older North End Stories? If there's anybody who can still tell them. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that as well. Um, just because it seems like the neighborhood has changed quite a bit. Um, and and also, um, I was looking at the, was it the North End Historical Society website. So then, even just looking through that, I realized that there were other things that were going on kind of simultaneously that I might not even know about. So I do think 